Blue Angel is finally back, everybody. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be my thoughts and impressions regarding episode 17 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. And I'll be honest with you guys, this episode was a really another really good episode out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. And uh, if you guys hadn't seen the big news that dropped a couple of days ago regarding episodes 18 and 19, uh, the end of this episode is actually very surprising. Uh, I wasn't as surprised by it now that I've read the summaries for the next episodes, but it was still good nonetheless. So the episode starts off with uh, Playmaker going up against these two AI duelists, and Blue Angel actually steps in and says, Hey, I'm not going to let you do whatever you want. You know, I'll take you on because I'm the one that will defeat Playmaker. So we actually see the group split up. Playmaker is going up against one AI duelist, and he's been struggling ever since last episode. And then we see Blue Angel go up against the second AI. And actually, Blue Angel is doing better than Playmaker. In fact, uh, as the episode went on, it became very evident that uh, letting the AI take the first move on Playmaker's part was very, very poor judgment. But again, I guess that happens when you're dueling a robot, I guess. But the episode goes on, and we actually, most of this episode was focused around Blue Angel versus her AI duel. And this was actually pretty good because her trickster deck actually conflicted the AI dueling robots deck to a T because they both use effect damage. And to this point, when Blue Angel is using her trickster combination, she basically says, if this is a duel of effects you want, I will be more than happy to oblige. I am the master of doing this. And that AI duelist is very, very like, no, no, I'm the master of doing this. And we actually see Blue Angel beating the crap out of the out of her AI opponent. While all this is going on, we actually go back to Ghost Girl and Zizen, who are still trying to get to the data bank. And actually, Zizen finds out that Blue Angel is there, and he's like, "What's all we doing here? You know, I can't let her." And Ghost Girl's like, "No, let her go. We got to get to the data before Playmaker does. She's not a kid anymore, Zizen." And Zizen actually agrees with her, and Ghost Girl and Zizen head towards the data bank to try to get the information about the incident 10 years ago before Playmaker gets there. And as this episode goes on, we transition back to Playmaker again, who is actually doing pretty well with this robot, right, or AI. And he actually ends up linking from the monster he got out of the data storm. And that's funny because everybody knows about Playmaker. And yet, for some reason, solid technology did not count on him using storm access. I mean, I still don't understand that. But Playmaker manages to summon a new monster. It's called Link 3 Vector Square Archfiend. And this thing actually looks pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. It, it does look pretty badass. And Playmaker ended up defeating his AI opponent, as does Blue Angel. So now both AIs are eliminated. And that's when we get the shock at the end of the episode that Ghost Girl and Zizen are in the mother computer and they're like, no, no, what, what, wait, what? Zizen, what's he doing there? And the episode concludes with Ghost Girl and Zizen. They're in the data bank and Playmaker arrives. And Ghost Girl's like, what are you doing, Zizen? Hide. And he's like, no, I'm not going to hide. And he actually brings up an access control panel and punches in a code. And we leave the episode off with the knowledge that the next duel is going to be Zizen versus Playmaker. And it's funny because we didn't know this until the episode started or until the episode summaries came out yesterday. We all thought it was probably going to be Blue, Ma Blue Angel versus Playmaker rematch. That isn't happening right away. But Zizen versus Playmaker is definitely a shocker. And I can't wait to see what they do and what kind of deck Zizen uses. But apparently Zizen has been planning this for a long time because he actually looks at Playmaker into the face and says, I've been waiting for you, Playmaker. So that's where the episode ends off. Again, this episode was really, really good. New monsters from both Blue Angel and Playmaker. Blue Angel and Playmaker end up winning. And now we get the big cliffhanger of Zizen versus Playmaker. So anyway, that was basically this episode in a nutshell. In the comments section down below, let me know what you guys thought of this week's episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just kind of ant there? What were your thoughts on this week's episode? Just let me know in the comments section down below, because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. And before I forget, everybody, this episode, in my opinion, gets an 8 out of 10. So anyway, with that being set aside, 
in the comments section down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, everybody, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.